Welcome to Ask the Edmonds Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple, and good morning, Sergeant Holly. Good morning. We're going to talk today about stun guns. Stun guns. Okay. Yes. The question from somebody was, are they legal to carry mm -hmm. for a citizen in mm -hmm. Washington State? Yeah. What so, can you tell us? A lot of times we get this question, they'll say, hey, can I carry a taser in the state of Washington? And if you try and find taser in the RCW, you'll be hard pressed. Okay. So that is a brand name. Much like Ford and Chevy or cars, okay. if you look in the RCW for you know automobile related things, you're not going to find the word Ford and Chevy. So um, the definition can be found in RCW 9A. I had to write this one down. Don't look at this one very often. 04110, and they call them a projectile stun gun. Oh wow! Okay, and you can look at all the big long definition in there. It's like three three sentences long. So the word taser doesn't come up. Okay, so it's a projectile stun gun. Okay. Um, also covered under the dangerous weapon statute, and that's 941-270. So, and that is a weapon capable of producing bodily harm, which okay. a taser is. All right. Okay. That statute also covers a whole bunch of other stuff, knives and, and, and some other things along those lines. Okay. Um, it's important to note, tasers are not considered firearms under the firearm statute, and there's a whole bunch of them. Dangerous weapons falls under that same big long um, section. In 941, but it, it, they're not a firearm, so it's okay. not a gun. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so the question was, who can carry them? Well, pretty much anybody. License required? Nope. No license required. You don't have to have a concealed pistol license because remember, they're not a firearm. Right. Okay. But there are some times where you can't carry them, or some places you can't take them. So it's kind of you can do it in these circumstances, except for um, the following, and that is. Um, on a school property, school grounds. You can't take them. There's a specific RCW, and that's 941-280. Okay, so you cannot take them onto uh, the playground or into the office, school buildings. You just can't go there with them. Okay. okay? Um, and the other uh, thing we talked about, that um, 270 statute, um, and it basically says um, you can't use them to intimidate um, or uh, cause undue alarm to other people. So basically you can't, you know, threaten people with them um, unless you're in danger, you know, self-defense sort of thing, or, okay. you know, take it out in a restaurant and start pointing it around, causing a new alarm. All right. Okay. So for self-defense, it's something you can have, but there are some restrictions. You should be aware of that before you have one, I guess. Yep, absolutely. And just like we've talked about firearms before, and, you know, if you're going to carry, um, you know, a concealed pistol, um, it's that mental preparation. If you're going to carry something, you know, or are you mentally prepared to use it if you need to? Because if, if you're not, and you're going to pull something out, um, and you're not willing to actually use it in defense of yourself, it, it's just a big liability. Right, right. And they can hurt people. So I guess oh, absolutely. it's just something, something to think about. Yeah, and we don't want to see somebody take it out and, you know, it ends up being used against them. Right. We've introduced a weapon at yep. that point in time that maybe didn't exist. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. We'll be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Edmonds Cop.